Turn 9. So we've got two battles. The first one is... this is the Amazons, I think? Yes. So that's a, that's a fair amount of Griffin riders, actually. Uh, but I have enough crap. They'll mostly kill frogs, as you can see. And they just killed my prophet because I put him behind the frogs instead of up there. Oh well. I get a new prophet, I guess, a few turns. And my god, looks like he's getting stuck up there. Oops. Anyway, it is working. And all the griffins are dead. And now for these. Which my god will finally get involved, I think. And these are actually have pretty good combat stats, but they're all going to be dead in a second. All this fire spam doesn't really matter for him, uh, because he's got the eight fire resists, so they're generally not going to hurt him, even if they hit him. And looks like he even got rid of most of my frogs in that battle, too, which is a positive. Now I'm not paying maintenance on them. So, yeah, there is my, my prophet. That was my own idiocy. Actually, it's bad. I didn't want to lose him, but oh well. Make mistakes. And I lost 13, 20 uh, frogs and 8 bats, which is really not bad. And I got the Guardian Sorceress Province. Next we've got the Oni battle, which should be pretty much over instantly. Um, the whole thing with Oni is that they've got the Dark Vision and they're in Cave, and then they have their Ethereal Second Shape. But I also have Dark Vision, um, or rather Blind Sight, so yeah, I routed the Commander turn 1, so they're all just going to take a little bit to kill them because they're Ethereal in their little spirit form, but... Yeah, I didn't even lose a bat. Alright, so that's done. And let's go ahead and search here. And I guess I'll start walking... no, get back here. Start walking this idiot up here someplace. There we go. Normally garnets are in waste, so they're not even in wasteland, which is cool. Over here I've got you 20 guys. Did I mess up? I did. God damn it. I was going to move the other one up there. Oh well. I'll move him up there now. There we go. So we'll send you... How far can you get? You can get to there. Next turn... How far can you get? You can get to there. And... Let's see, Scout going over there, another research guy, and then these guys also are scooping up the routed ones, which brings me up to another 40, 70, uh, 130, and this one's another 40, right? No, no, 164, and then 182, 2 something. Oh, there we go. So that is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now we're going to YOLO and attack with everything. Well, not everything. Most everything. Province has not organized any defense. Okay, that's a fail on his part. So just in case that remains true, what I'm going to do is put a 55 in there. So I'll put these like that. Like so. And then I'll leave this guy here to take this province. Um, since it shows it has no PD. And he's going to attack Asphodel. So that will be them. And I'm going to split these. As many groups as possible. There's going to be a lot of routing. That's what bats tend to do. Okay, so there's that. And then these two up here. Split these into two groups. And split these into two groups. And you can reach these into two groups. So this is pretty much textbook how I play Zabalba. So I'm gonna, not going to bring those. Actually, should I? Because that's going to be... Let's count it up. 34, 64, 84, 91, 99, 
118, or wait, 119, 123, 133, 143, 147, 167, 187. I think 187 is sufficient. Um, I can, well actually, it's in this group here, and this group here, so it'll be closer to 200. Okay. So there we go. And I got one little group in the middle here. Where is that? Okay. So this can be old attack rear, and this will be attack flyers. Because there's going to be harpy attack the first round. Okay. Welcome to hell, Asphodel. Alright, so that's about 200 bats going on his cap, and then I'm attacking this with a tiny group because there's no defense. Hopefully it stays that way. This one I'm also attacking with uh, 30 bats. If it's one to PD or also no defense, then I'll win easily. And then I'm scooching up a whole bunch more. And let's do some bat recruitment, of course. So this is how many? 12. Let's make some more. That one's a crap province. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, I got a gold mine. <laughs> nice. So this is now a rich province. It's putting me up a fair bit more gold. That's a useful province for me. And we're gonna get how many is this? So now it's making or no. Okay, now it's making ten a turn, which is gonna give it It'll be 22, so 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that'll be 40, so that way I can scoop up and get the rest, I think. Unless I did the math wrong, whatever, it'll be fine. No, I'll just max it out. Okay. So, got that going, got that going, that, and that. I could also pull bats from here, so this also is going to give me bats for this cave. More importantly, it allows me to make more camazots, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to save up a little gold, and how much RP are these? These are 13, and this one is... not you, go away. You, you're 9. So it'll be 12 um, with my magic scales, or 16, or yeah, 16 up here. Which, except there's no magic scales here yet. And that's for 160 gold. Or... Um, 105. I should do the bats. Um, bats. The thing is, yeah, I think I should do that one too. Oh, can he not get up there in one turn? Do I have to waste a turn? One, two, three, yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to take one of these bats. Um, one that will have search, so it'll be an air bat. And he'll go up here. Actually, not in a rush. So he'll go here. Or maybe, actually, let's do it in a mountain province. Mountains are, have lots of air sites. So he'll do it here. We'll search that, and then next turn I'll go one, two, three, and here, build the lab, search. And then I'll probably have him running around searching air for me. Just so I can get that little trickle of air gems to someday build some flying boots for my guys. Um, and then once that's done, I will probably... Well, this will all depend on how the war goes. Either I'm going to win very quickly versus Asphodel, or I'm going to lose very quickly. So it'll be apparent very soon. Um, if this attack bounces, I'm probably screwed. Um, because it's going to kill a lot of bats, and if I don't get anything out of it, then I'm in deep shit. But if I do hit it, then his income will be cut off. He'll have zero gold income, or I guess like 100 or whatever you get from inside your fort. And he'll be on the back foot, which I guess Zabalba is typical, and then he's kind of effed. Um, he'll be screwed at that point, because I'm also getting his allies, or rather his neighbors, to help. Um, so I'm going to tell... See, this is risky, though, because... I know Jotunheim really wants forests, and Asphodel has them. So I'm going to tell Jotunheim to get 105, 107. He can have them. He can have all this. I don't know who else is up here. Probably someone else. But I won't question these. So I'll say, go go grab these, buddy. All yours. And then I'm going to take everything else. Or however much he has. We'll see. It'll depend. OK. 
Okay, so that is that turn. And then how am I looking at research? Okay, we're done with Blood 3 this turn, which is good. That will give me Gift of the First Soul, which will allow me to script that on my god. And now the big decision point. So I'm thinking I'll go Enchantment next, because I'm just making my D2 guys. So with uh, 3, I'll get Fire Shield on my god and Ray Skeletons, which is kind of bled, but whatever. So we'll do that. So let's change this research around. And it's going to be 10 points in blood, and then everything else in enchantment to rush down to 3. And then after that, and actually I'm going to have two Kamazots recruitments possibly here. I may just go straight to 5 for Skele Spam, which actually works really, re really, really well with Sabalba, because a lot of the things that my stupid bats can't beat... Um, are like tough units with high armor and small numbers and that's something the skeletons typically own just because the skeletons don't route and eventually the tough units in small numbers get tired and then the skeletons win so I think that skell spam may be a good plan I do need to definitely start searching though so this a search is going to be important um, and I'll need to recruit some of these in the near future so I can get to water and earth searching. Um, I don't have too much use for water just yet. Um, I'm going to have a large, large pile of gems, of water gems anyway, for a long time. Um, it's kind of silly to have large gem stockpiles, but I will be burning them all once I get some higher level research. Namely, uh, usually construction six, I'll make a shit ton of water bottles. And then sometimes, depending on how much searching actually gets me more water, if I end up with like a huge water income, um, then I'll probably just drop vengeful waters as well. I mean, it's not as powerful as it used to be, but it still uh, kind of dismantles people's scout apparatus, so they can't really see what you're doing. Although with Sabalba, it's hard to see what I'm doing anyway, because I have swarms of flying bats um, moving all over the place, and they're stealthy too, so I can actually hide everything if I feel like it. Um, is there anything else I should be doing? I don't think so. We're kind of doing our yellow invasion of Asphodel, uh, with 200 bats there, and then a small number in these two provinces. Mostly to secure retreats, but this one, I mean, I was just going to take this, but if, if he's got no defense, I'll take this too. Yeah. So that is turn 9. We'll see how the yellow invasion turns out next turn. I'm expecting Asphodel will be screwed, or I'll be screwed, one or the other.